Hello Vlogineers, today we're going to check out a subscription box called Mel Science. If you like what you see, you can purchase this at the link in the description. This box is Mel Kids, but there's another subscription you can do by the same company that's called Mel Chemistry. But this one is Mel Kids and it's for ages 5 and up. And this set is called Crystal Screen. With the Crystal Screen set, Kids will assemble a model of a real LCD screen, and kids will also observe how light changes when passing through a transparent object, and they will create an image visible only through their screen. Kids will learn about the nature of light, what a polarizer is and how it works, and where polarizers are used in everyday life. All right, so now we're gonna open the box up. <laughs> Scan me with the app. Okay, so this requires the Mel Kids app. And if we scan this, something cool will happen. There's a sticker. There's a picture of, I think, what we're gonna build. Okay, crystal screen. Inside, oh, okay. It's a comic story. And then they give you step-by-step -step instructions on what you're going to do, okay. Oh, and there's a big map. I think if you get the monthly subscription for Mail Kids, you can get all these different boxes with these different worlds. And right now we're on the crystal. And with the sticker we showed you earlier, we're going to place this one over here, I suppose, because for each world there's a place to put your sticker. How many different boxes of different worlds can you get? So there's 12. So if it's one for each month, then you can have a whole year of fun with this. That was the mystery planet map. Okay, and then on the bottom, there are two different boxes. First, we're going to use the app to scan this thing, uh, which will show us what exactly we'll be making in augmented reality. This lesson uses AR technology. Tap to play scene. I'm so I'm going to tap. Oh, look, it's the screen from our starship. It has two polarizing films. Let's see how they work. Let's shine a light on our screen. Bring your phone closer. Mm -hmm. A ray of light is like little blocks traveling on a conveyor belt. Let's slow it down so you can see them better. These blocks are called photons, and they're all the colors of the rainbow. So, what was I talking about? Oh, right, how do polarizers work? Look, only vertical photons can pass through the polarizers. The polarizers is like a fence. See, all the horizontal ones get blown out, but all the vertical ones can pass through. And now that we've got a good idea of what we'll be making, it's time to open up the crystal screen instruction book. Okay, so there's a list of components. And then now, comic. Okay, there's a few pages of comics, so I'm going to read that. Professor, I've written a new expedition plan. No, it's too dangerous. But we still don't have the samples we need from planet 3.1415. We will need the red pattern box from the cargo bay. Here, I think I got it with all the wood and stuff. I see this is the red pattern box, okay? And then you can see him opening it. And then on the next page, the instructions start. For this one, there are 12 instructions to assemble all the way till it'll look like this. I'm gonna open this. So it's a whole bunch of wooden pieces. Be careful, don't let them break. And then there's a bag of other stuff. There's also a transparent disc. We're going to do it step by step. Step one. Okay, so you need the circle. Okay, so we need to take this and one here. Okay, we did step one. 
That was pretty simple. Now step, step two. two is grab this large thing and put it on with that matches the circle. And then you have to grab this plastic thing and put it through the hole. And then you put this through. And then, so here, we have to put this thing on. This so now we've done four steps. And then we need to get this thing and one blue I already rubber. Ooh, is this rubber? I'm yeah, not sure. it's rubber. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Aww. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to put this. It looks like a little lamp. In here. So now step six, we have to oh put another blue thing on the other side. So now we're taking these things. Oh, there's two of them actually, and we're they're gonna serve as stands. Okay, so we have now finished step seven, and it looks like this. And now it's step eight. So in this step, all we have to do is put, this put that over. Next step nine. So now it's basically step one all over again. You just put three in there. Now step nine and three quarters. So this refers to Harry Potter, I think. Uh, what do we do here? Oh, another disc. Okay, and then step 10. Step 11. And then, so that's step 11. And then step 12, we have to rotate. Yeah, so we just keep rotating. <laughs> awesome, we did it. Now we can use it for our first mission. We need a flat piece of a local crystal. Let's open our second pack for more fun with our screw. Open box two. Okay. And this? the steps go all the way to 19. Let's okay, so step 13. So we have finished making our crystal screen, which basically uh, uses light to make colors in here. So you can see with this disc, you put a whole bunch of tape and, and it's not that colorful as it is, but when you put it through and you look from this side, you'll see lots of colors. And then these are the crystals, so brother's gonna shine them through. Oh, Once you go in the light, you can see a lot. You can see blue. Oh, and wow, yeah. There's blue and purple in that direction. So, like I said, you can mainly just see blue and purple by itself. But with this, this tape, I see more colors. I see um, dark blue, light blue, pink, purple, green. And they're all like, for each shape here, it's a different color. So it's not like a blur of colors. Like, it's very distinctive. I like how the colors in this one don't mix together. They're each a different color. And I think that's really cool, like magic. And at the end of the book, they talk about Isaac Newton and um, about where you can see light dispersion, which is what this is called. Like the idea of seeing through here and seeing many different colors. That's called light dispersion. And you can see them in raindrops, crystals, and CDs. And then finally, at the back, there's some games. There's rainbow maze, pixel coloring, screen drawing. So you can draw a colorful picture on the screen, maybe of what you see. And that is the crystal screen box. So yeah, overall, I think that Mel Science is pretty cool because you can make different science projects and learn about different things. And this one, it was about light. 
I would be excited to see all the other projects in the different worlds. The project itself is actually pretty simple to make, so that's nice and very educational too. I think this is pretty fun because we can build the projects without our parents helping us. Once again, you can order this at the link in the description and get different boxes every month. And we'll be reviewing the Mel Science Chemistry set pretty soon. Bye. Bye. See you later.